If you're having trouble connecting your Bravia to your home network for Bravia internet video, check the following. For wired connections, is the Ethernet cable plugged in properly at both ends? Each end should be plugged into the LAN port until you hear a soft click. If you're trying to connect wirelessly, microwaves and cordless phones can often interfere with wireless transmission. Try turning off any other wireless devices at the power point to see if this rectifies the problem. If you're assigning a manual network address to your Bravia, ensure that you've got the correct settings. To do this, go to a PC connected to the same network as the Bravia. Open the Start menu on the PC and type CMD into the search box. Hit Enter and once the command prompt window appears on your screen, type IPconfig slash all. You'll be presented with a lot of numbers but stay calm we're only looking for three entries in this list. Auto configuration IP address, subnet mask, and DHCP enabled. This last setting needs to say yes for us to be able to continue. Write these numbers down. Press the home button on the Bravia remote and navigate to network settings and then network. Compare the numbers we just recorded to those which appear on this screen. The subnet mask should be identical, and the IP address should only vary by one number. If this isn't the case, go back to network settings and re-enter these numbers so that they match up. Is your router connected to the internet? Check that your router has internet access by trying to load up a web page on a PC connected to your network. Many routers have a light on the front which will indicate the current status of the internet connection. You may need to turn your router off and on again to re-establish an internet connection. For more information on this, consult your router's manual.